Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create transactional replication in SQL Server, and we'll be using two ways to do it: using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and using T-SQL script. In this video, uh, some of the big points that we'll learn is configuration publication for transactional replication, and we'll configure our publication using transactional replication. And number two is publisher proper uh, security. This is very important, and we'll learn that what are the best practices of publisher security when you create a publisher. And number three, adding articles to the publication. Uh, keep in mind when you're doing transactional replication, all the tables that you wanted to add uh, in, in transactional replication must have primary key. Otherwise, it will not let you add in transactional replication. Number four is article properties. And we'll take a brief look on article properties, what you wanted to change, uh, what are your requirements, some things that you can change, and some things are really important and you need to take a look. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's my uh, SQL Server. This is going to be my publisher, and this is going this uh, t t t uh, Tech Brother uh, client SQL Mirror SQL Server instant is going to be my subscriber. So what I want to do is create a publication which is transactional uh, publication. So we're going to go ahead and open replication right here, and I, we have already um, snapshot publication uh, created. So we're going to go ahead and create a new publication. So we're going to go ahead and add a database uh, TFS config. So this is the database I want to publish to my subscriber, which is uh, Tech Brothers Client SQL Mirror. So we're going to go ahead and select the database, click Next. And up here, the second option, since it's going to be in this video, transactional replication, we're going to go ahead and do the transactional publication. So we're going to go ahead and select that, click Next. And here's the articles. Keep in mind that I'm going to show you real quick that the tables who the tables who do not have primary key, you cannot select them. Uh, look at here a little uh, red stop sign up here. You cannot add these tables. So if I select all the tables, it's only going to select the candidates for transactional replication table. So I'm going to go ahead and select just the tables. As you can see that it didn't select all of them. But it selected only the tables that has primary key. So in, once you select the tables, you can. Uh, this is always a good idea to uh, click on article properties and go and look at the highlighted uh, article properties. So we're going to go ahead and do that and look at the properties, some, uh, some of the properties right here. And you can go ahead and you can select some of the default properties are false. It won't lay, it won't take uh, the foreign keys constraint right now. But if you wanted to uh, uh, your replication to take the foreign keys with the replication, you can uh, go ahead and uh, select it true. Some of the uh, some of these properties depends on your uh, requirement of your replication. So please consider um, always look in uh, look into these properties because some of these things. Uh, uh, may come in your organization as a requirement. Uh, up here, there, there is a, a if existing if on, on destination if object exists, what it's going to do? There are four options: keep existing object changes and drop existing uh, objects and create new one only if the objects exist already. So delete data. This is uh, right here. Is the um, if you select delete data if article has row filter. If we create the row filter and it's going to change only the data in particular um, rows that the data has changed. So this is a delta change. It'll take, replication will take the delta change up on the uh, target server. And you can also go ahead and truncate all the data in the existing object. So we're gonna go ahead and keep basically um, the um, default, which is drop existing object if they exist. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to encourage you that please go and look into the properties of these selected objects and you will find really good information up here. So I'm going to uh, keep it basically um, default. So we're going to go ahead and click OK and click Next. I only wanted to add just the tables. You can add other articles such as store procedure views. And we're going to go ahead and click Next. And we're going to go ahead and create a snapshot immediately for this demo purposes. We would like to see everything is working. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, create the snapshot immediately and keep the snapshot available to initialize. And you have an option that you can go ahead and schedule your snapshot agent to run to create the snapshot later days. If you wanted to do it up here, 
you click up here and select the schedule so I'm not going to do that click next up here this is very important security setting this um, I mentioned in my previous application videos that uh, it is always best practice to have a replication dedicated dedicated account in your organization which has permission on your publish, publisher and all the subscriber where you want to put in so in my case I do have that account you can go ahead uh, with the SQL Server agent account but the problem is that uh, let's say that you have a service agent account right here for this uh, particular server instance this account may not have permission on your subscriber so you will run into permission issues in order to avoid it my recommendation is that you go ahead and have um, an account that is dedicated to um, replication and has all the access that it needs I'm going to put the password up here and I'm going to keep the same like using this account up here too so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and click next create publication this is always a good idea to generate the script if you would like to generate the script this script will be your publication backup in case your publication mess up later and you can run this script and create the publication click next and we're going to go ahead and TFS underscore config underscore publication so this is my naming convention you can name whatever you want to we're going to go ahead and click finish and it should create a publication for us our next step is to create the subscription so that uh, we will move uh, our publication uh, articles to the subscriber we're gonna go ahead and click close let's take a look this is our uh, right here is our publication that we just created right now it doesn't have any uh, subscription so we're gonna go ahead and right click and click on new subscription next this is the publisher I wanted to use click next run all agents at the distributor uh, if you wanted to use the push subscription which means that publisher will do all the things all the subscriber will be uh, uh, created on the publisher however it will be connected with your subscriber right here so um, and if you wanted to do the push then subscriber will be created on the local TBS client SQL mirror and a subscriber will come in here and grab the data and bring back to it uh, its instance so I'm going to go ahead and keep the push subscription click next here's your, your uh, subscriber is we're, we're going to use the subscriber SQL Server mirror we're not going to keep the same one so connect and the database up here we're going to put all the tables that was in TFS configuration database into sales order database that's where we wanted to publish all the the database let me show you real quick before we go too far uh, right now I have sales order database and it has only these tables it doesn't have any tables so we're going to go ahead and put a, a TFS configuration tables uh, basically here so we're gonna go ahead and select that go into sales orders click next security same best practices apply on this keep in mind that uh, when you create the uh, generate the script from SQL Server of your replication all the password that you put in here uh, they will not be um, in the script you have to manually put this uh, password in the script or you have to once it's created uh, and you will get an error uh, that password uh, cannot be null then you can go ahead uh, up here on the um, uh, create a subscription and right click and put the password go to the security agent security and put the password right then so we're gonna go ahead and click next we do want agent schedule run continuously right now because uh, for this demo purposes again we would like to see everything is working immediately initialize so we're gonna go ahead and click next and generate the script if you would like to I already have done that so I don't need to do that but it's always a good idea click finish all right so our subscriber is added let's take a look view initialization status uh, agent is starting right now all right 
so it's running and look at the detail <coughs> six transaction with 359 commands were delivered so now we're going to go ahead and look all those all, all those transactions right here uh, on our target database which is sales order if we refresh this database and go to the table we should see all the tables right here that we are replicating so next step let's go ahead and uh, do the um, change in our publisher in the database and that should replicate right away so we're gonna go ahead and uh, go in TFS configuration uh, one of the table which is TBS messages right here this is ta this table is being replicated so what we're going to do right now it has two columns and let's take a look on our target database so tables and up here is messages look at the columns two columns we're going to add another column and see if this change is being replicated here and we're going to do tran test transaction trend test this is our column and we're okay with that let's go ahead and save and refresh this and see that uh, this column is added and we will go ahead look at the our target database and see if that column is added and as you can see the trend test is added so our transactional replication is working fine replication using our t-sql script so I'm going to go ahead and load our t-sql script this is my t-sql script right here transactional replication and I'm going to connect with SQL prod that's my publisher so we're gonna go ahead and do that keep in mind up here the password um, make sure that even after running the script you uh, make sure that when subscription is uh, created everything is created then uh, you check the password is right you may run into error if the password is right uh, is isn't right so when you create the script using uh, TC uh, using SQL server of your replication what it does is back behind the scene it it does not keep the password it, it all the password that you put for security reason it's null so you when you run the script right here you need to find which is uh, a little bit further you need to put the password manually up there and even after you put the manually uh, uh, that password you need to make sure that that password is right and I will do it in in a second so we're gonna go ahead and run this script and shouldn't take long all right everything is completed let's take a look if our publisher is created right here is our publisher and our subscriber let's check just the status it is starting the agent 